Hello, and welcome to Honoring History. Today we will be discussing Pocahontas, Behind the Myths. A Brief Biography Birth. The birth of Pocahontas is around 1596 in what is known today as the American state of Virginia. Possibly located in the Jamestown region, Pocahontas was known by other names, such as Matoka and Amanut. She was the daughter of the Powhatan chief. Childhood As Pocahontas grew, she would have learned skills that she would need in adulthood, regardless if she was the chief's daughter. Oliver expected to be a product, productive member of society. Around 11, she met John Smith. This was approximately in 1607. It was shortly after this encounter that John Smith told the story of Pocahontas saving him from being slain by her father. Some parts, if not all, of the story were believed to be made up. Some believe that the story w of his rescue was a misunderstanding of a ceremony that the tribe performed and Smith under misunderstood the meaning of this ceremony. Afterwards, Smith was released to Jamestown. Adolescence She continued to have a great relationship with Smith, and after he returned to England in 1609. However, as a whole, the colony and the tribe began to have differences, and those differences began to intensify. She also was on friendly terms with many of the colonists at the time. Pocahontas did not visit the colonists for several years after receiving news about John Smith's death. At the age of 14, Pocahontas was thought to be of marital age. Capture and Christianity In 1613, Pocahontas was captured by Samuel Agrell. He wanted to trade her for goods and potential prisoners. Agrell kept Pocahontas on a ship until she could be safely transported. It was during this time that Pocahontas was converted to Christianity, although she, how much she believed and her willingness to convert is still a topic of debate. After her conversion to Christianity, she was baptized as Rebecca. Marriage Despite the myth, there is never ever any, any evidence that there is a romantic courtship with John Smith, Smith despite some movie's claims. In 1614, Pocahontas, as a newly baptized Rebecca, married John Rolfe. Her father approved of the marriage, although it is uncertain if he did so out of fear of, for his daughter's safety or generally approved the marriage. His fear may have been linked that if he rejected the marriage, they would harm Pocahontas. Pocahontas had a son which she named Thomas. Death of Pocahontas Pocahontas, John, and their son Thomas, along with others, traveled to England in 1616. She died in 1617 at about the age of 21 in Gravesend, England. She was buried on March 21, 1617 at St. George's Church in Gravesend, England. There is a statue outside the church commemorating her and her bravery in the face of adversity. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked my content.